Hey everyone, welcome on in. My name's Dinky. Today, um, I've decided to try my hand at doing an All The Mods 9 playthrough on a server that a friend of mine does also have access to. Um, we're essentially going to be doing our own things, but from time to time, we'll, we'll cross paths and maybe even do some episodes together, which would be super fun. Um, so I'm hoping that if everything goes well, you'll see plenty of episodes from both of us, and uh, I'll link his channel in the description down below. As for my own plans, I'm currently in a creative world here, before we even start off, because I just want to outline some of the plans that I have for episode one. So my main one, um, I have a couple of challenges for myself. First being that it doesn't matter what biome we spawn in, we have to build in that biome. That is where our base is going to be because I want to challenge myself with what I have available at spawn as opposed to spending hours and hours trying to find the perfect location. So little challenge for myself. Um, along with um, the second main challenge is I'm very, very new to video editing. So with each episode that I put out, I want to challenge myself to learn something new every time even if it's only something small just make sure i'm learning make sure i'm improving my skills so hopefully in the long run um i can give you guys some some really cool videos but as for episode one uh the main things we want to get done are set up a very basic starter house so number one set up a basic wheat farm set up a very basic mining area Try and get some iron for tools and armor. Explore at least a tiny bit. And if we're lucky, get enough stuff for a backpack. Because Dinky always needs a backpack everywhere she goes. That being said, let's load in and have a look at what biome we're going to get. Just really hope it's not ice spikes. I hope it's somewhere with grass. So loading in at night time was um, not such a nice surprise for me. Although I was intrigued that we'd spawn in a pumpkin biome, so challenge accepted, I guess. I think I can live with this. A pump oh, maybe not living. Living might be the wrong answer. I got going on the required start to any Minecraft playthrough by punching a tree when a spooder intruder decided that I was the perfect contender to play fisticuffs at spawn with. This is not what I signed on for. Spooder intruder got booped and I went on to have a quick look around our spawn area. This tower looks curious, so I went for a climb to investigate the tippy top. Okay, what do we get? I mean, I'm not mad at three pieces of iron. Kitching and stealing that. Happy with my loot, I went back up to my original spawn hill and decided to renovate a large pumpkin to have a very basic starter base to hide in overnight. At least until I could get a bed. I set up the stolen waystone, apparently forgot how to spell home, and made camp inside before waiting out the night in safety. Thank you. 
The next morning, I got to work setting up our actual starter house using some of the supplies that I'd gathered the day before whilst exploring the pumpkin patch. Everything about this starter house is basic, but eventually I will build a bigger and better house as the area gets developed and I work out a style that I like. The building carried on into the night, but eventually I had a roof, some lights, a door, and I got some trapdoor windows done so I could at least wait out the night in peace. When day finally broke, I headed down the hill to start setting up an area for mine, and I decided that digging into the hillside would be a good start, and for today at least, I will be mining down to Y0, stopping every 10 levels to mark a small pit stop area where I can do strip mining depending on whatever I'm looking for. After finally making it all the way down to Y0, I figured now would be a great time to add in stairs to make getting up and down much easier, and apparently I forgot that stone cutters are a thing, and I made stairs in the most inefficient way possible. After making a mountain of picks, I set to work widening the stairs to three blocks for a nice wide open stairway. On my way down to Y0, I didn't find a lot of supplies, but I did at least get 12 iron ore. Thankfully, my server mate Rad had previously told me about being able to duplicate the amount you can get by using an ore hammer. So I set a bunch of copper to smelting to make a copper ore hammer and duplicated my iron from 12 to 24, because thankfully one ore makes two dust and one dust makes one ingot. Alrighty, let's grab this, make blocks of copper, and then boop, 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 we have a copper ore hammer. Now, I believe what we do is pop this, this, to double it, boop, and then we should be able to cook up 24 iron. First thing on my iron agenda was a bucket and another iron pickaxe. I'd spent a couple of nights down in the mining area at this point, so I figured the next full day it would be nice to go exploring around my area a little bit. 
I opted to check things out on the west and was thankfully rewarded with a small mountain that was littered with small iron deposits. Ding, ding, ding. Oh, there's another spire. Oh, 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 what's this? After looting most of the service iron from the mountain, I eventually headed into the nearby village and followed a poor unsuspecting villager to steal his bed for the night. The village itself didn't really have much to loot other than food and a couple of other little knickknacks, so instead I went leather hunting and then decided to climb another tower where I finally realised that I hadn't actually stolen a bed of all things from the village. After a snooze at the top of the tower, I was on my way home when I discovered a lovely little hidden hut. To make a long story short, I faffed and farted around down here for quite some time. I turned the villager into an armourer and locked in his trade. Finally made myself the backpack I wanted. Cured the zombie villager in the hope it would take on an armor of profession once here. Then, um, mistakes were made. Oh, you went straight in there. Oh, my days. Oh. <laughs> That's not what I wanted to do. <laughs> After that fail, I needed some fresh air and was exploring the mountain when... Woohoo! Oh, you know what? We'll take the emerald. We'll grab some booties. Thank you. Our first piece of armor. Woohoo! All right, buddy, you're coming home with us. So I swept this villager right off his feet and hauled him home with me. Finally put down a bed in my house and set to work duplicating and smelting down all of the ore I had, ready to make my remaining armor and tools. Now we can successfully say we have finished off episode one with a full set of iron armor, the tools that we want, a shield for protection, and a good night's sleep. Catch you in the next one, guys.